Alright guys, I'm sorry for the late post. I actually had to refilm this video, but anyways, the droplets came out late again, and last week I basically dropped the video after the drop already happened, and I know a lot of you guys watch because you guys want to see what's dropping before it actually drops, and you guys kind of want to get an idea of what you're going to cop, and get some like cop information before it actually happens, and so I apologize that I wasn't able to get it out last week. If it keeps dropping late like this, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to post it before or after the drop, but if you guys always want to know what I'm going to cop beforehand, no matter what, and know, I guess, like my opinions on the drop or whatever, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I always go over the drop list on Instagram, no matter what. Even if we didn't get the drop list early from Jay or anything like that, I would go over it before the drop, the second we know of the Europe drop. Like the second the Europe drop happened, I would talk about it. So no matter what, if you want to know about these drops or you want to know my opinions about the drops, Follow me on Instagram. I just had a lot of people kind of bugging that they didn't know beforehand, and that's a really easy fix. All you need to do is check out my Instagram. Also, if you guys want to see a live cop video on Friday, I can't guarantee it, but if this video gets 6,000 likes, 6,000 likes, which I don't think I've ever done before, and the only real reason I'm doing that is because this video is posted super late, and I genuinely don't even know if it'll get 6,000 views because I'm posting it so late, but if this video gets 6,000 likes, I will try my absolute best, like 98% chance that I will drop a live cop video on Friday. Lean bait cream, good for my health. Blue face honey, look at my wealth. Chopper, chopper, chopper up on my shelf. Gold teeth shiny, look at me now. What up YouTube, welcome to Soft, and today we are going to be going over this week's drop list. Now we already know about the Supreme and Nike collab, and my personal opinion, that collab, uh, was kind of disgusting. It was lackluster. It was a letdown. I just was not a fan. And I already went over that for you guys. I will go over that again towards the end of the video. But I kind of want to go over my like main pieces that I want to cop and then discuss the issue with copying and just kind of give you guys some game real quick and kind of let you guys figure out what you want to do or what's best for you if you are planning to cop tomorrow. So we already knew about the Nike stuff dropping. The second leak that came out or the second little tidbit of information that came out was the plaid shearling bomber now i'm not a fan of this jacket personally i just it's not really my style right it's not like the jacket is terrible i could really picture someone like maybe magnus avery or jacob wallace wearing this kind of jacket but for me personally i'm a simple guy i like simple clothes i'm just i dress fairly simple somewhat basic i just wear like hoodies and sweatpants i always tell you guys that i like to dress for comfort i don't really care about getting all fancy and dressing up and looking all, you know, spiffy. Like, I, I just don't really care about that. I can't believe I just said spiffy. But for me personally, I just like to be comfortable and I dress as such. I am comfortable in my own style and that's how you should dress. You should dress however you feel comfortable. And for me personally, although I can't knock this jacket too much, I don't personally like it. It's just really not my style. Then after that, we started getting some information about what's dropping and we got the news that the logo or the hooded logo half zip parka or pullover is dropping. We also learned that the Full Zip Champion hoodie is dropping, and those two pieces were definite like cops when I did my season preview at the beginning of the season. So if you guys know, I said that I want to get that Nike track jacket for resale, so that kind of leaves me in somewhat of a predicament because there are three items this week that I want, right? There is the yellow camo pullover to go with my yellow camo warm-up pants. Then there is the Nike track jacket, and then we got the Champion Full Zip hoodie so it's like the dilemma is I can either go for the yellow camo have zip pullover which is a personal cop something I don't plan on selling I actually plan on rocking it out in the wilderness up in the mountains if you guys do not follow me on Instagram change your life go follow me on Instagram because I will be taking some insanely dope pictures up in the mountains with this little hype beast hiking outfit if I go for that and I take the L then more than likely I'm going to be stuck taking the L on the champion hoodie and the Nike track jacket. I can either take the chance of getting that, which is already no matter what, very, very low. Like I imagine the sellout times will be somewhat similar to that of the Stone Island collab, which means that it's like if you can't get that and you go for that, you will more than likely take an L and then not get anything. Or you can kind of guarantee that you get the champion full zip hoodie and the track jacket and then just resell both of those and then pay for the yellow half zip parka if that's what you wanted for your personal collection. So I don't know, it's kind of a hard, 
It's like a hard little dilemma that I'm in right now and I don't really know what to do. I'll be talking about that with you guys and kind of figuring out what I want to do. All I know is that I'm going to sleep on it. When I wake up tomorrow morning, I will know what I'm going to do. Either way, I'm ready to take some L's, but we will see what happens. You just, you can't ever put too much faith into it. You just got to hope that everything works out. In reality, it's all going to be a little bit of luck because if Supreme Sight's acting up like it has in the past, then we're all going to be screwed anyways. But we will see what happens tomorrow morning. So anyways, we also have a couple other pieces dropping. Some are okay and the rest are just absolute trash. So the okay pieces, in my opinion, this Supreme little uh, sweater, it's just got Supreme and like an ARC logo graphic. It's not the ARC logo. It's like in an arc logo, but not the arc logo. Anyways, so yeah, it's got that across the chesticles or breastuses displayed proudly. That's a good little piece if you just want a supreme garment, and that one will be relatively easy to get your hands on, I think. It will still sell out pretty quickly, but if you're not that fast at copying, you can cop that and be somewhat at ease knowing that more than likely your order will go through. Now, they also have the quilted jacket with the fleece sleeves. Now, I don't know if this has the fleece interior, we will see, but I do think this jacket is a super sick cop, and if you're looking for a personal Supreme piece, this would be a super sick one. In black, pink, or even white, I'm not a big fan of white because white is risky, it can get dirty. Usually I prefer cream, which, like a cream or off-white color is a little bit better because it hides stains a little bit better than the white does. But it's just, I don't know, the pure white, the cocaina white is just too risky for me personally. Those are the okay drops. Obviously, there's some other okay drops in like the hat department and Nike department, but we're not talking about those yet. We'll get there. Now, the crappy drops, in my opinion, are like these velour polos. These things are absolute garbage. I don't know why they would choose to do that disgusting middle vomit green colorway. Just looking at that, I, I imagine that probably comes fresh out the bag smelling like cigarettes and just the 70s. But anyways, we also have this striped long sleeve. And now this comes in two decent colorways and then two ugly colorways. The white and the black are okay. And then you got this uh, orange, like that 70s show looking colorway. And then once again, you have this like vomit green with like a canary yellow. Uh, I'm not a fan of this at all. I think these last two pieces are trash. And I think overall this week is okay. It's decent. It's nothing crazy. It's not like insanely sick, but it's also not that great. It's just it's just a decent week. I would say the only thing that makes this week kind of a letdown is this Nike collab because I expect so much more from the Nike collab. I really wanted this collab to be something super sick, something that I want, and I just feel like they could have done something so much better. I just really expected this Nike collab to be a little bit better, to be honest, and I feel like they could have done something just super sick. Like, why is Supreme not doing a tech fleece, for example, right? Like, a Supreme tech fleece suit would be so insane. People would go bananas over that. Like, if they did a tech fleece, people would go crazy. And I understand that, like, it may not be, like, Nike's vibe, right? Because you're not going to skateboard in tech fleece. But they make a ton of stuff that you're not going to skateboard in. Like, you're not going to skateboard in that track suit. So it's like, why not make a tech fleece? Tech fleece is so comfortable and it would be super dope to see Supreme and Nike come together and do a Supreme tech fleece suit. Like that would be insane. They could do something with the piping. They could do something with the zippers. Like they could just do something really sick, I feel like. And I just think that when I heard about the Nike Supreme collab, like the, I, when I heard about them doing a track jacket, I should say, or a track suit, I was really excited. I thought they were going to kill it. And in my opinion, it's just kind of a letdown. I don't really like these colors. And to be honest, the only one I'm really going to go for is the black or the pink. And I'm going to go for the track jacket. I might not even go for anything else. The only other like potential cops would be the hat and the pants. The shoes are a hundred percent pass. And I'm not going for those for my personal, like my personal collection. I'm just going for those because I know that they will have some resale value. Now the last of the items that they are dropping, they are dropping the Gons keychain. I'm going to pass on that. It's not anything too crazy, but I mean, it's not like a bad piece. It's not garbage or anything like that. It's just whatever to me. That's like a piece that you would just cop if you kind of know that the item you're going for is not selling out and you just want to add to cart to have like a second piece. And then they're dropping these box logo camp caps and these things are absolutely hideous. I hate that. That is like a very like 70s style. Once again, I'm just not a fan of that material. And on top of that, they are dropping these triple stacked, the three stack C champion 
like little snapback five panel. Um, I personally think this is a dope piece. I don't really wear snapbacks or high crowns like that, but I do think that this is a pretty sick piece and I really like the triple stack champion logo. Now, some of the details for the Nike Supreme stuff, you didn't see my previous video. Basically, they are just track jackets that come in one of four colors where they come in four different colors and they have reflective accents. So the track jacket has the Supreme accent across the back. The pants have the Nike swoosh on the right leg in a little cargo style pocket. And then it's got Supreme on the like upper left part of the leg. All three in branding. And then the hat has like mesh on top with those colors underneath. And then it has Supreme and 3M on the strap. And then the Nike emblem or Nike logo on the front of the hat says Nike Air. Uh, like I said, none of these pieces I guess are like super terrible. I was just kind of expecting more. The only piece that's absolutely garbage in my opinion are those shoes. Those shoes are just so disgusting. I don't know why Supreme decided to make a shoe and just make it so terrible. I would love for them to come together and make a legit, really sick, like hiking shoe. Maybe like an ACG or something like that. I would love to see... Uh, like a Nike Supreme ACG boot like that sh <laughs> That would be so sick. Anyways, what do you guys think of this week? What are you guys copying? Like I said earlier if you guys would like to see a live cop video smash that like button if this video gets 6,000 likes 6,000 six side tings then I will probably post that video on Friday. You guys have been killing with the support lately and I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. I cannot say thank you enough. Seriously, it's been so overwhelming and I've just like I feel like a lot of people have been seeing their views go down and I don't know how this video is going to do because I've never posted this late before, but I feel like my views have been doing insane. Like I've been doing crazy numbers and I feel like it's just, I'm so blessed to even have people that like my style, that like my content. And I don't know, I don't want to get into like this big, like preachy spiel. I just am so extremely grateful because without you guys, like a lot of the opportunities that I've had, I would have never had without you guys watching the videos. And like, I'm able to help my family out and like do things that I would have never dreamed of doing when I was a kid like when I was a kid I had nothing so it's just insane for me to like have this audience and have these people that support me like thank you so much from the top and bottom of my heart like I already said thank you guys for watching and as always uh keep living the star life man keep living the star life all right I'm out peace lean bait cream good for my health blue face honey's look at my wealth chopper 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 up on my shelf gold teeth shining look at me now